Hi, I'm Jacob. This is the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today I have a very special comparison for you, and that is the Bark River Pairing versus the Super Kook of my own design. Now before we get too far into this, let me just say, Mike Stewart, bring back that pairing. Seriously, it's a great knife. Um, my friend Isaiah really loves the blade. Uh, it is an epic blade. There's just no doubt about it. It's a big piece of A2 steel with a nice thin edge and it's hard to beat that. The geometry of this knife just begs for snap cuts. Like, it's, it's awesome. It really is an awesome knife. Anyways, he liked it so much that he wanted to see how it would do up close and personal with the super kook of my design here. So, he sent it to me. Now, the pairing and the super kook are actually very similar in dimension. And one of the reasons that I was willing to compare them is the pairing, as you might have guessed, is no longer in production. And this one's been modified. So this really isn't a knife of my design versus Bark River. This is uh, a couple knives that you really can't buy right now. And we're just having fun and seeing how they perform next to each other. But uh, they are of similar size, similar blade length. The Super Kook certainly has a weight advantage. The Super Kook uh, is a knife that I designed over a period of about two years, ever since I became involved with Nepalese Kukris. Uh, the Kukri changed the way that I looked at large knives um, <clears throat> because I did not used to be a large knife guy, believe it or not. So what we're gonna do here today, we're gonna look at these two knives now, with the, the pairing handle, to me, looks simple. Honestly, it looks, looked kind of uninspired. I didn't expect much from it out of a knife this size. I was wrong. The handle is great. Uh, for fine work, you know, the Super, Goop, the Super Coop was designed for my hand. Uh, they both do fine work great. I'm gonna prefer the one that was designed by me, for me, of course. And batoning. Both knives are a quarter inch thick. They're gonna baton. So we're not gonna waste your time with those two tasks because it's probably not what you want to see anyways. We're gonna look at chopping. Now, when you're out in the woods chopping, uh, when you're looking at small trees, there's, there's really no difference. I mean, both of the knives just sail through them. It's wonderful. And you don't really see a difference in performance until you get to some bigger stuff. But that's not why you come to the Prepper's Bunker. There is no variable control in nature. What we want to do is bring back the Table of Destruction. Arguably one of the most famous tables on YouTube. The Table of Destruction has claimed the lives of many 2x4s. Jessica X, BK9 the King, please starting this round with the Gunslinger. Bushcraft Kukri. The Becker BK21 Reinhardt Kukri. The old BK4 Match Axe from Becker. And has itself been destroyed multiple times. It exists for one reason only. So, like always, what we're going to do is we're gonna chop through five two by fours with each knife, switching each knife as we go. The reason is the two by four is one of the easiest variables that I can control when it comes to chopping wood. Uh, you aren't gonna go out into the woods and find two logs that are comparable or the same. And even in a single log, diameter is gonna be different. It's not worth all of the time. Two by fours are as close as we can get. So what we're gonna do, we chop, we use each knife to chop five two by fours. They're all the same length. They're all mounted in the same way. We're gonna take away the top score and the bottom score, and we're gonna round uh, the other three scores. And this has consistently given us accurate information and, uh, and been a, a pretty good test of a knife's chopping ability. 
uh, and uh, obviously two by fours are wood. Now, to try my best to mimic the usual detractors of this method of testing, Man, what you chopping them two by fours for? Don't you know there ain't no two by fours in the forest? This test is dumb. Boy, you gonna get tired? This ain't fair. You be chopping up stuff like everybody else on YouTube. Why even compare knives? The reason that I do this is because if I tell you that a knife performs great at any task, but I don't give you anything to compare it to, that information means almost nothing to you. That's why comparisons are so important to me. That's why I've come up with this system. So uh, let's get to it and see how the pairing and the super coupe stack up when it comes to hacking down some wood. Okay, round one, super kook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight chops. Super kook. Round one, the pairing. One, two, three, four, five, six hits for the pairing. Every round will start with a different knife so that people don't say that I was more tired with one knife than the other for every round or something silly. So, round two, pairing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Round two, eight hits for the pairing. Round two, super kook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We'll give it one more for good measure. Eleven. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm very surprised with the results. So the Super Kook weighs 32 ounces, right at two pounds. And uh, that could be because we don't have the skeleton, I don't have the skeletonized handle yet, and a couple other things, but right at two pounds, the pairing is four ounces lighter at 28 ounces. I had to write everything down because I have this mental condition called uh, retarded. But anyways, so after we subtracted the two highest, the one highest and one lowest score from each knife from the Super Coupe, that meant uh, minus 11 and minus 7, 
and for the pairing minus six and minus 14. Then we added the other three scores and averaged them. This is gonna, this is crazy. The, uh, the Super Kook took 27 hits. The pairing took 26 hits. So the Super Kook came in at an average of nine. Pairing edged it out at 8.66. So the pairing actually did better. So I hope uh, all of those people are all saying how biased I am can shut their mouth now. But uh, I'm very surprised. It was a good time. Uh, it actually makes me want to go out and use them in a larger variety of situations because, uh, I mean, it was close. The pairing is a great knife. I really hope that Mike Stewart watches this and brings it back. And I hope that uh, you guys, my viewers, uh, will bother him and email them to do so as well because it's a phenomenal blade. Um, so anyways, share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of knife stuff and a lot of survival trips coming up this summer. I've been really busy throughout the winter, so it's been kind of quiet, but uh, we're about to shake things up. Have a great day. I look forward to hearing what you think in the comment section.